Reset TV, what's good, y'all? What's good with everybody tonight? Chicago taking L's all week. I don't know what Florida deserved to catch these strays from your bishop, the general principal of rap. Boosie, never minding his business, badass. So let's just get right into it. For those of you who don't know, Kodak Black just teamed up with 6ix9ine, as you can see on the screen over here. And yeah, this is a business. They offered him $1 million feature. I guess the man said, fuck it. This whole rap game is suspicious. We got so much BS going on, street ninjas, you know, showing themselves. Why not? I'm going to go ahead and take the money. Now, I can't speak for all of y'all that stand 10 toes <laughs> on this street shit, honestly. It's so fugazi anyways, I really don't even know how to cover this stuff anymore. But I figure we're men, let's attack it like men. So Kodak goes ahead and do what he said he wouldn't ever do. You feel me? We got to keep it a buck. Kodak did say he could never deal with a rat, specifically 6 9 a few years ago. But man, money talk bullshit walks. Y'all know how this go. But his emperor himself, Boosie Badass, with all the issues he got going on, court, daughter coming out of the woodworks, exposing him, being an ungrateful brat. I mean, it's so much going on with that dynamic, with that dynamic. I just find it interesting how Boosie always finds himself in somebody's business. And he had the nerve to say, what will the Zoes say? Like, bro, do not, and I mean this, do not put what one man do on an entire group of people. Like, watch it. You, you know what's going on with Zoes since you want to mention Zoes in this? Watch what's happening with Haiti. I'm Haitian. I can speak on this. Look what's going on in Haiti. It's too much real shit going on for you to say, oh, I wonder how the Zoes feel. Um, they shouldn't give not two fucks about this. But nonetheless, we're going to let you know, Bishop, never mind his business, Boosie, speak on it. Church, do y'all feel me? The Bishop is about to speak because he got all the answers. I mean, you'll suck a dick for 20 million, nigga. A million? <laughs> and you probably be a stand up nigga for the streets? I'm gonna blame the streets if they still support that nigga, man. Low key, Boosie be trying to like blackball niggas. Bro, you ain't got the power for that. That's why you glorify this street shit, bro. A lot of us are a part of these neighborhoods. Trust me, I'm still in one of them. Hearing the way this man talk, you would think he ain't learned from not minding his business with Gunna. Not minding his business with every goddamn thing that happens in hip hop. But here he comes, though. That nigga fucked me up, man. That nigga, that nigga fucked me up, man. I just talked to BG, man. Just, I just, BG got something to be. BG won't tell y'all about that nigga. Shit. I ain't even know all this shit. There it goes. You got to understand how this goes, man. Don't wait till you don't like something I do to talk about all this. He say, she say, you know, all this business stuff floating around. And that's how this man do it, man. You don't like the way he moved, don't fuck with him. But you know what they do? They add that extra sauce in it. Yeah, BG said, you know, he got a lot to come out with. These are grown men, y'all. They 40 plus. I got six kids, bro. I ain't got time to throw dirt on the name of another man. Like, gonna show y'all this game ain't what it is. He came back out. Y'all called him Ratatouille. This man came back out. Number one album in the business. And that's what it is, a business. And that boy stayed on that business. We got to start separating the street culture with you rap actors. That's the point. Now, if you glorify the Kodak Blacks of the world, guess what? You probably butt hurt. But if you just enjoy the music and you bop to it, you vibe to it, knowing you got to get back to your regular life, this shit don't apply to you. This internet, sh man, this internet stuff is like out of hand, honestly, bro. Boosie, you an internet nigga, by the way. You always talking online, bro. I'm blaming the streets, bro. Streets still fuck with that nigga. Come on, man. 
I thought that nigga stood up for the streets, man. I was fucking with that nigga, man. I'll tell you what he stands up for, Boosie, because I'm in Florida. The man really put on for his neighborhood. The man really go back and make sure, you know, the corner store ladies, you know them? Make sure all them mamas got ACs. Backpack giveaways. It's so much stuff that goes on with Kodak that I don't like. But the things that we don't like is what they put out here and blast it all over the net. But y'all won't see what he really do. I'm talking about really looking out for them babies in the community, man. Really looking out for the grandmas, the grandpas. He's really looking out for the neighborhoods. But, you know, you ain't disappointed with him with that, right, Boosie? You just worried about him hooking up with 6 9 like he ratted. I mean, I really don't know how the code goes anymore, y'all. I really don't know, especially with inflation up. Niggas just be trying to feed their kids and make it through. I ain't put nobody in jail. I ain't do wrong by no other man. What this shit got to do with you, Boosie? He ain't affect you or your pockets. It's because niggas like that want to uphold an image that, from what I heard, Terrence Gangster Williams got a lot of dirt on your name, bro. There's a lot of shit Boosie ain't really answered yet. A lot of questions linking around Boosie ain't answered yet. And a lot of you do boys and you internet people Y'all going to think uh, Boosie is the gospel. Understand there's a lot of shit going on with Boosie name out there that nobody want to talk about. But I ain't going to play this long. I'm going to let him, you know, rant a little on. And then I'm done with this shit, bro. I wish I could take this nigga ass. I'll rock it, man. No. No lawyer to no principles over money, man. Ain't money can make you do anything, bro. The biggest rat in the world. Yeah, money can make you do anything. Like let Lil Marlo take an elbow up in that chain gang, so you can get back out here and make money and glorify how you you this big dog out here, though, right? Yeah, money can make you do anything, Boosie. And first of all, you say you want to take Kodak off of Rocket Man? Listen, you irrelevant fuck, bro. I, nah, I got to keep this a buck. This motherfucker right here is so irrelevant when it comes to music. I ain't talking about his status, whatever that means anymore. But with music, nothing Boosie pushes out means anything. Just last week, they predicted him with his new up-and-coming album uh, projected to hit about, I think it was like 500 to 1,000 copies. Let that sink in. I'm being nice, bro. Everybody was saying you went triple, triple up uh, um, wood, nigga. They talk about some your record sales was looking like 500 when it dropped. So a, a name like Kodak Black and you the OG and he don't mind coming up under you and giving you that that feature. Nigga, you honestly got to be more grateful, bro. Real talk. Now, I can't double back and talk off both sides of my mouth. Kodak hooking up with 6ix9ine do look crazy. Not because of him as a man, but because of the past things he said. But imagine, right? Check me out now. Imagine who we could judge based off of the past shit we did or said or whatever. Growth is growth. We ain't got to accept it. But all these ninjas are actors on this rap game, bro. It's a business. And Boosie, you got to pick, man. You want to be a street nigga? Or you trying to be this rapper? Or you this uh, street gospel preacher? I'm really confused, bro. Pay you a million dollars to sell your soul. You a sucker dick for 20 million, nigga. Sometimes I gotta afford this nigga, bro. I don't really like listening to this nigga sometimes, bro. Look, man, y'all y'all check out the Boosie conversation, but you know, Boosie been turned me off pause in terms of how I looked at him because he's a grown man, still a little boy, y'all. But y'all y'all know how this rap game go, man. You feel me, man? Commas talk, bullshit walk, man. I don't know what else y'all expected, man. But look, this Reset TV, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Subscribe.